Hi and welcome to another remodeling video. In this video I'm going to show you how to use Blender to make an AO, AO texture, pin it back on as a UV texture and do a little bit of texture painting. And we're going to start by making a new folder, I save all the bits in, I call it Blender Bits. There we go, and we're going to jump into Blender. And you can see I'm using the new Blender 2.71 and Giants i3D is up there, the 5 0.50 exporter. I think it's a beta at the minute, but it does work. But we're not going to be doing that today. So we're in Blender. I will uh, turn on Screencast just so you can see any buttons that I press. Right, middle mouse button to rotate like this. If you hold Shift, you can pan around. Oh, it's in and out of the mouse wheel. Zoom in and out. Right, we're going to start by pressing tab, jumping into edit mode, control and R, just apply a couple of loop cuts, so we're going to get a bit of shape to work with, uh, control and tab, select faces, E to extrude, Click to lock them there, and then you want scale. I'm going to go on the x axis, just going to give us a little bit of shape. This is going on the z axis. Nope, that already was. <laughs> this is going to just help to demonstrate the ambient occlusion and show it off a bit. These can go on the y axis. There we go. I've got crazy looking shape, but it'll show up well with the ambient occlusion. A to deselect all, select all, drag this over here, shift F10 for the UV window, back over here, smart UV project, unwrap it, and there we go, we're unwrapped. Now we need a material, we have one, what colour should we go for? You have to have a material set for baking to work. We'll go for green, I think. Yeah, I quite go for green. Right, then you come back over here, and right down at the bottom. See the camera there? Right down the bottom, you have bake. So that's all ready to go, but we have to. New material over here. Doesn't matter what colour. The material colour we selected over there is going to overwrite this. And full render, ambient occlusion. I set clear on it will make all this blackness disappear as you can see it's all now transparent but we have an ambient occlusion kind of right, we're not on texture are we do we need it there we go now we can see it <laughs> as you can see the shading bringing out all the edges making it look pretty cool I see the flat faces, not quite got anything on those ones, but it's picked it up on the rest of them. So these ones we'll have to do a little bit of work with. So yeah, tab back in, so we've got this. Right, now, the ambient occlusion has been done, but we need to save as image. So we'll come down here, back up into desktop, new folder, blender bits, just leave it as untitled. Right, that's now saved as an image, so we're back up into the material slot. Into textures. Now we have a texture already, so we don't have to make a new one, as this is the first one we're working with. Image or movie. Open. Come down to recent. There's Blender Bits. Now this turns it into a UV. Scroll down a little bit further, go from generated to UV, and that's that done. Now we have assigned our AO texture as a UV map, and when we export, this will go with it. So that's AO in the very basics covered. UV texturing, again, very basics covered. So we're going from edit mode into texture paint mode. So we'll come up here. Go for a slightly creamy colour. Which 
Shall we go completely mental and do something red on it? We'll show some red off. We'll get a bit darker. Now your radius is your brush size, so really big. Or a lot smaller. Your strength is how powerful it is. It's uh, like alpha. How transparent. So come down here, zoom in. There you go. Not very visible. Turn your strength right up. Very visible. Control and Z is your best friend while using this. Uh, it's not texture, stroke, not space. I put it on airbrush for what I do. This one's cool. This is jitter. Now, the jitter, the, I want to click here, it'll pop up everywhere else. Look, it gives you a nice blending effect when you go over it again and again and again. Again, control Z that off. Uh, turn the jitter down a bit. Turn that up a little bit. And now we should be able. Now, that's another thing as well when using texture paint. If obviously I'm looking flat at it, it will paint nice and straight. If you give it a bit of an angle to work with, it'll stretch it out like that. So it looks a bit weird, but as you can see, it's painting over the AO. Well, the UV now. So we'll go black a little bit, turn the strength down, make the radius a bit bigger. There we go. As you can see, it's popping up in all the right places. Just squiggle all around there like that. And there we go. That's AO textures, UV textures. Oh, before I go, we have to resave. So we'll go to save image, and there you go. So that's our image saved. Job's a good one. Right, that's basic AOing, UVing, and texture painting. Thanks for watching, and catch you next time. Bye.